So today I wanted to do another video to show you how to save some battery life on the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. In this way, this uh, method we're going to take the sleep feature that Samsung has in the Samsung Experience firmware and we're going to take it a little step further. Now if you remember that video and that tutorial I showed you that you can go into the settings and device maintenance and battery and we can actually set certain applications to always sleep. These applications are easily removed if we don't want them to be always in sleep mode but we can add a bunch of applications that are always asleep whenever they are in the background. Now if you open them up then they're not going to be asleep and they're going to work like normal. However, if you look through these applications, you're going to see some are not present. So, if we go into the settings application, and instead we tap on the apps option, this is going to show us every single app we have installed. It doesn't matter if we installed it from the Play Store or from anywhere, from a third-party store, or even if it's been installed, if it's been pre-installed from the manufacturer. And that's where I want to get into applications like Facebook. As you saw on that other screen, Facebook was not allowed to be put into always sleep mode. Not only that, but Samsung has also partnered with Microsoft to install some applications such as Excel and some other Office applications. Those were not in that accept acceptable list either. And those are big deals because there's been entire articles that have shown if you uninstall Facebook itself, you can gain like 10 to 15% of your battery life depending on how much you use the application. And you can still use the website. You can use Samsung Internet or the Google Chrome browser and use the Facebook application if you want. But having that application installed can eat up a lot of your battery life just on its own. So today I want to show you how to disable applications completely so that they cannot run at all. It's as if they have been uninstalled but they are technically still there. They just cannot be executed. Before we were putting f applications to sleep, we could still open them up. If we disable an application, it's disabled until we enable it again. So just be aware of the difference there. However, with the ability to disable an application, again, we have more options than were present in the simple always sleeping apps feature. So, just as you saw, to disable any application we have installed on our device, we open up the settings, we tap on apps, and then we find the application that we want to disable. In this case, it's definitely going to be Facebook, so we tap on Facebook. And right up at the top, we have a big disable button. Disable it. We're going to get a warning saying disable, disabling built-in applications may cause errors in other apps. And this is true. Say Bixby has been tied into Facebook for certain alerts or notifications. If we disable Facebook, then that Bixby integration into Facebook will no longer work. Just be aware of that. Or if you see an error pop up regarding an application that you have disabled, again, just remember 
that we have gone and disabled that by tapping that big disable button and then tapping on disable. Go ahead and tap on OK. Now the application has been completely disabled. Any updates that that application has had has been completely uninstalled. And that disabled button is going to be replaced by an enabled button. We're also shown that that application is, is disabled in this apps list. And again, I'm going to do the same thing with this Microsoft. Microsoft has partnered with Samsung so that they can get applications pre-installed on Samsung devices so that it, hopefully more people will use these Microsoft applications. I have no use for Excel. Tap on disable, disable OK. It uninstalls any updates that ap application has had and then it completely disables it. You're going to see a little bit of storage. You're not going to, again this is not uninstalling it. The application is still going to take up some storage on the internal system partition, which is completely separate from the data partition that you can download stuff to. So you disabling a bunch of applications isn't going to let you install more applications. Those partitions are kept separate. That's why these are pre-installed. And that's why we cannot uninstall them. Now, there is a way for us to uninstall them from this current user by using an ADB command. And I may do a tutorial about that in the future. But for now, I just wanted to show you how to disable pre-installed applications or, again, any application even this fluid ng application that i have downloaded from the play store instead of having the disabled option there's going to be an uninstall option because it can be easily uninstalled but that is how to disable applications on the samsung galaxy note 9 and that is a great, great way to save battery life on our device by getting rid of, by disabling applications that we simply do not use. Just be careful about what you disable. And remember, if you see some error pop up, it could have been caused by an application that you disabled that you didn't really know what it did. And for those cases, as always, just like I showed you, you can always go back and enable these applications anytime you want.